Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I'm with John Vance. John Vance is the president of Vance Wealth Group. Uh, very knowledgeable when it comes to financial planning. Uh, John, I want to talk right now about retirement planning. I think that's very important because uh, many of us, whether even if you're not retired, are considering, do I double up my payments? What do I do? How do I start? You know, what's the what's the sound advice you can give somebody? So, I believe you believe in six different steps. Yeah, I think it's real critical. There are six steps that we've created that help clients kind of navigate down that path towards retirement. And so the first one is really looking at defining what their plan looks like. And that real simply is just what are their goals? What are their objectives? You know, a lot of times people will focus on what should I own? Where should I invest? And they make the big mistake of not focusing on, well, what are they, where are they today? And what are they trying to accomplish? And what are all the steps along the way to get them there? And that's really the key of doing retirement planning is, is really taking a big picture assessment of where things are. And that's the roadmap. That is. Know, know where you're driving. That's right. You've got to create a roadmap. And that's one of the things we help our clients with is put that roadmap together. Because if you go in blind, it's a lot harder to reach your goals. And the thing about retirement planning, you really only have one opportunity to do it right. right. Because age is not your friend. The older you get, the closer you get to the time you have to stop working. If you haven't saved properly, the idea of working into your 70s and 80s, health may not allow that. And you may not want to. So it's really critical to take the proper steps early on to get on the right path. Let's talk about clarity. Okay. You need to be crystal clear. You need to have a good set of glasses to get you there. Yeah, you really do. I mean, when you, when you start looking at, looking at what's, what you need to uh, create clarity for is uh, the risks that are out there. Everyone focuses on volatility. You hear the stock market's up, the stock market's mm -hmm. down, the housing market has just gone through a big correction and starting to bottom out. But when everyone talks about uh, the risk side of things, that's all, they want to, that's all they really address is volatility. And from our perspective, we provide a lot of clarity for clients on the big risks that we think are out there. And one of them is longevity. And a lot of people say, well, longevity, that's great. That means I lived a long mm -hmm. life. Well, for us, though, that's dangerous because people are retiring uh, younger and younger. They're retiring in their 60s, and if they live till 90, we're now going from a traditional retirement of 20 years to now 30 years. Mm -hmm. And your money has to work a lot harder for you if you're going to be in retirement that, that length of time. And the other risk is inflation risk. The longer you live, the bigger inflation has an impact. I mean, if you go back and look 30 years ago, what people were earning, you know, the, the wages are... 20% back 20%. in 1980. Exactly. And so if you, if you fast forward, if you retire at 60 and you fast forward to what it's going to look like when you're 90, what is the impact of inflation? How much money are you going to need to actually meet your financial goals? And those are the two areas we really try to focus on, on those two risks. Let's talk about spending plan. Because when you retire, you're going to have dollars you have to put out. And I've heard you need 80% of what you make. Or is, what is, how do you guide around that? Well, it's really difficult on a spending plan to put in a rule of thumb because every client is unique. One of the reasons why our business, we focus in the Santa Clarita Valley as well, as well as in the Pasadena area, is I think we have, for the most part, clients that have reasonable expectations and they don't tend to overspend. They live within their means. And so that's one of the keys in retirement is if you're overspending, you're going to get in trouble. Through this down, financial downturn, my clients who were coming out of this with a, with a smile were those that had a really keen sense for what they were spending and they kept their spending under control. So this downturn didn't bother them. The people that were over leveraged, spending too much, that got them in trouble. And so that's really key to have a, a, critical, a, a, critical, a critical look at their spending and also know how it's going to integrate with Social Security because Social Security is a big planning area that people often miss. I'm going with the attitude I'm going to get very little to none. So uh, we'll see what happens. Let's talk about developing sound in investment strategy because there's some investments that uh, you just put in your age and they diversify the amount of risk investments. So when you look at the investment side, uh, the key for us is keep it simple. Uh, try not to try to really avoid sexy exotic investments. Keep it simple using registered investments like mutual funds, ETFs, and that's what most people are using. But you really want to stay away from things that can have total loss, where you make where you're making really a bet. You want to make sound investments in things that over time will, will do well. I bought, put all my money in GM. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> well, you that can wasn't see, a good. One. You can see how that can that can <laughs> get you wrong. in trouble. So I mean, there's a lot of examples of yeah. where people make mistakes. Now, if you're younger, you can take some risk, but the older you are, you really can't afford to, to harm yourself that way. So you want to make sound decisions and, and not try to you know hit home runs. Singles and doubles really from an investment perspective is really all you need. And that's part of the stress test. Yeah. 
if the market drops 30 points, is that going to affect your retirement? That's right. And so what we do in our clients, we do stress testing. And the beauty right now with technology is it's so good that we can do a lot of different uh, scenario analysis. Mm -hmm. And why that's important is the old financial planning used to be, uh, if you make 6% on your accounts or 7%, how does that look? Well, interest rates are almost at zero. So you can't count on a fixed 6 or 7% like you could 20 years ago. And so now stress testing to see what volatile markets will do to your overall health to make sure that you're on track. Yeah. And last but not least, it's, uh, it's a journey and not a destination because when you're at that de destination, you're done. That's right. I mean, the, well, the destination, we know what that is. Yeah. So the, it really is a journey. Things, will, things over your lifetime are going to change. And the critical part about any kind of retirement plan is not putting the plan together, or excuse me, putting the plan together and then just putting it in a desk, in your desk drawer, and, and, and really not paying attention to it. So when you're looking at that journey, know that over time, life's going to change things. Life happens. And so making adjustments along the way is how you make sure that you stay on that path and that, and that way you have a healthy retirement. John, uh, very good information, sound information. How can those that you know, want to seek out your advice, how can they reach you? Well, the easiest way is to go to vancewealth.com. Uh, we have a lot of our information uh, about our firm, and our toll-free number is 888-775-0950. One more time. 888-775-0950. Thanks for coming in. My Appreciate pleasure. it and Thank sharing you. all that great information. Ladies and gentlemen, John Vance, a president of Vance Wealth Group. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Out of the Rough. If you'd like to watch this online, go to scvtv.com or fredarnold.com. If you have questions for me and like to make some suggestions of people to have on the show, please email me, fred at fredarnold.com. Well, I hope this information helped get you out of the rough and into success. Until we talk again, make it a great day. Bye-bye.